What is happening, everybody? This is Cody, a.k.a. DFS Prodigy, coming to you live, talking about this upcoming DraftKings slate. It's a men's international basketball. It's the gold medal game and the bronze medal game, which I don't understand why the gold one's before the bronze, but <coughs> it is what it is. Before we begin, hit the like button for me. Definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's been a ton, as you all know. Come hop into the Discord. We're chatting it up in there. It's been a pretty fun time. Like I said, I want to grow it. My goal is to get to 400 subscribers by the end of the month, so that would help me out a ton. Also, if I could hit the like button for me and always subscribe. So, again, this has been Men's International Basketball. It's been a fun, wild ride. I cannot wait for Summer League, but let's have a good day. Let's knock out this slate and win big. So, starting with USA at French for the gold here. Kevin Durant at 10-1, I definitely do like him. I like him a lot more than I do Damian Lillard. Uh, Durant's getting the better minutes. It's more secure, more clutch. Anything you could possibly think of, it, Durant has done it way better than Damian Lillard. The issue with Damian Lillard is people are cutting into his minutes, and I like Drew Holiday a lot more at 85. So if I'd rather go that route at 85 for Drew Holiday. Looking at Zach Levine, Jason Tatum, Devin Booker, all of the secondary guys, not really too high on any of them. If you want to look at Draymond Green at an ugly powerful power forward position, once again, I can see you going to him, but I don't trust it. I, I don't like it. Bam Adebayo at 6'4". Obviously, he's a big. I think he can do well here against France. As we saw him in the very first game, he put up good numbers against France, so I definitely do like him. And then Chris Middleton, 5'6". Draymond Grant, no goes for me. I'm not really getting to much else on this USA team other than mainly Kevin Durant, sprinkle in some Drew Holiday, and then give me some uh, Bam Adebayo. Going to the France side of the ball, though, I, I definitely do like some France. If we want to look at Evan Forney, I think he bounces back here in a big way. He can put up good numbers against this USA team. Del Colio, I definitely do like him. He's going to bounce back once again also. He had a downfall of a game two games ago, and then he came in a better ownership. I, I definitely like him here at 8,000. Batum, uh, I, of course, like him here at 6-1. You can give me some Batum. Hurdle, I like at 4-7, but I would not play Hurdle and Del Colo together. They're going to take away from each other. If you don't look at TLC, he's been putting up good numbers. He's going to be chalk, though, once again at the 4-8 price tag. And that's kind of where I'm looking at. Yasabli, you're going to have to play him at 3-8 in an ugly power forward position. Like I said, once again, he's going to be chalk. You just kind of have to play him. Going to the bronze medal game, Australia at Sylvania. Let's start with the Sylvania. Luka Doncic at 13-5. What do we do here once again? Do we play him or do we fade him? Uh, I can see this going either way. If you want to play him, I, I understand it completely. If you don't, you don't. Mike Toby, though, is going to be low-owned. I love him here at 8-9. He's going to be a loan option once again, like I said. So if you want to look at him, I definitely see why. Concar, I'm not really playing. Jogic had a bust of a game. I'm glad. Shout out to DK DFS if you want to go check him out on Twitter. He's a hell of a guy. He told me, do not play Drogic. I wanted to so bad, and I'm happy I didn't. Obviously, he, he talked me off of him and only putting up two points. I understand why DK DFS told me no. So, Preflick and Blazic, both secondary options. Kind of similar to Jason Tatum and Devin Booker. I don't mind either one. One of them is going to have a good game. It just depends on who it is. And then looking at Mjark and Rupnik, I'm not really getting any of those guys. Dimmick, I, I don't really want either at 4-1. Let's go to Australia. Patty Mills, 10-8. Do we pay Patty Mills, 10-8, or do we play Luka Doncic at 13-5? Both mystery guys. I don't mind either one, though. Joe Ingles, 8-2. I'm kind of fading. I haven't played him all tournament. I'm fading him. Dybul at 7-3. He's going to get you a bunch of stonks if he can get you there, though. But good luck guessing if he can. I'm not really playing him. Okay. Nicholas K and Lindell both had down games. They played small ball against the U.S. team. They're going to need to play big ball here. So... Going up, going against the big man defense, I definitely do think this is a bounce back spot for Liddell and K. I think they're going to come under owned. I love both of them here. I don't wouldn't mind playing them together. X my five one watch his hip injury. He kind of injured himself last game, so just watch that. Uh, Dylan Dova, I don't mind at four three. You can look at him. Then Golding three five. I know he's going to be chalk, and so is Sobi. Uh, you can play either one as value. I wouldn't mind, but I'd rather go hurdle on the on the flip side with Vrance. So I wraps with this two gamer for us again. Thank you all for tuning in. Hope everybody has a good and safe rest of your day. Have a good one.